Hello and welcome back to the course on Tableau. And today we're talking about errors that you can get in maps. And this, we're talking about some specific errors which are related to data. So let's have a look at that. Um, here we've got the chart that we created last time. And this is for uh, the number of personal vehicles sold in different regions. Now we're going to go back to the data source. And here you can see that we've got different uh, regions which um, are not recognized as a geographical location. doesn't have this globe here because they are kind of uh, selected by us or by the person who was creating this data source. So they're very specific. But at the same time, the countries are recognized as a geographical location because you can see this globe here. So we're going to take advantage of that and create a map. So um, let's just create a new worksheet. Maybe this one we'll call something like um, relative cars sold. And this one we will call map. Okay, um, we're going to take country and as we're used to, we'll just drag it onto our worksheet. And right away, we've got a map that came up. And what we can do now is we will take vehicles sold and drag it into color. And so now our map is colored based on the number of vehicles sold. And let's not forget right away with these, um, with time series data when we're working with it, we have to remember that if we're not visualizing the time series, we have to filter by it. So we'll take a year and put it into a filter. And maybe let's just select 2005. Okay, and we'll bring up a filter. So show quick filter. Uh, we obviously don't we need all anymore. And we'll just have a uh, sliding scale so we can only select one year. Okay, that's great. But now have a look here at the bottom of the map. You can see here six unknown. What does that mean? What does six unknowns mean? Well, let's click on it, click on it and we'll, it'll come up. Here it says that there are six values that have unknown geographic locations. What do you want to do? You can edit locations, you can filter the data, or you can show data at a default position. So I don't recommend data at default position. A filter data that just means kind of exclude these uh, values that are not um, recognized. So we'll control Z that because we don't want to exclude them right away. We want to see if we can fix the error. So here, just go ahead and click edit locations. And right away at the top, you can see the six locations that have not been identified. So let's go ahead and uh, fix them up. So Burkina, why has it not uh, been uh, identified? Well, let's try typing in Burkina and see what Tableau has. Tableau has Burkina Faso. So let's click Burkina Faso and click OK. And as you can see there, somewhere there, there, Burkina has come up. So it wasn't there. So if I press Control Z, it's not there because it's not recognized. Now it has come up because Tableau knows where to put it. And it's displaying the, the name that we have in the data, Burkina. But uh, he knows, uh, Tableau now knows um, that uh, this location uh, is actually geocoded to the one we've selected. Um, all right, so let's go for the next one. Uh, let's skip Congo for now. Let's go to Kazakhstan. As you can see here, it's kind of misspelled. So it's actually Kazakhstan. Oops. So there's an H in there. So we select that and you will see this bit over here um, will come up. So we'll click OK. And as you can see, Kazakhstan has been recognized. That's great. So as we're slowly fixing up our map. Um, Obviously, Switzerland plus FL should be just Switzerland. And uh, Tahiti in uh, Tableau is French Polynesia. Um, and then uh, Turkmenistan, there is an R in the word. Turk. You see, these are like data errors that you might not pick up right away uh, in your data preparation phase. So now you'll see all of these up here. So there you go, there's Turkmenistan, Switzerland appeared somewhere here. Um, and French Polynesia, I'm not really sure where to find it right now. <laughs> but anyway, so let's go back to the unknowns. Here you can see we've got Congo and it's unrecognized. And if we start typing in Congo, there's two types of Congos, Brazzaville and uh, the other one, um, Kinshasa. And we, like right now, I don't know which Congo this data refers to. So. I can either investigate and find out um, where uh, which Congo is the correct one, or if you don't have time or you don't really mind uh, not having this element of uh, data in your visualization, you can just cancel that and this one unknown, you can filter the data and just not have it at all. So you, know, you can see that there's no Congo illustrated on the map. 
and yeah that's the other way of doing it but i do encourage you to first check if you can fix up the data um, sometimes like we don't have an example of this right now but sometimes you will find that say if you're dealing with cities and just say you're dealing with um, cities in one country in in the u.s for instance and you drag them onto the map and you find that nothing is uh, shown on the map well that's because you need to tell tableau that you are dealing with the u.s so if you have a uh, field for us then you just create a hierarchy as we used to do and that way everything will be fine or if there is no uh, field for the us um, then in map uh, here you can uh, when, when, you, when you're adding a location you can just specify um, your actual country so you don't have to you'll have you'll see how to do that tableau will actually prompt you here uh, and allow you to specify the country you're working with so you'll if you're working with the us you just specify us and then it'll recognize the cities and that is because some some cities are you know duplicated in different countries so there's a moscow in russia and there's a moscow in in the us and uh, there's a sydney in australia and i think there's another sydney in the us and um or Newcastle, there's one in Australia and there's one in, in the UK. So Tableau needs to know which country it's dealing with. It can't only go by the city or the state. So sometimes you have to supply that additional information if it's not in your data and the hierarchy hasn't been created. Okay, so that's uh, what we've done. Um, what I wanted to show you here is that uh, if you click through these years, you can see how the number of cars sold is changing throughout um, our map. And it'd be really cool uh, to see this as a visualization. So if um, if you're interested in, uh, oh, I mean, uh, really cool in, to see this as an animation. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. I do have an advanced course on Tableau. So if you're interested in things like animations and more advanced topics on Tableau, make sure to check that out. And uh, that'll help you take your uh, Tableau skills to a Jedi level. But that's all for us uh, for today. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy analyzing.